put in the time to do your meal planning, to make your grocery list, you actually go grocery shopping, get the groceries home, only to find out that you have forgotten a few different things and then you're like, dang it, I have to go to the grocery store again. I have a solution for that, a simple, simple solution that's gonna make it so you stop forgetting things at the grocery store. One Unified Home where you can come for tips and ideas on things to help you strengthen your family, minimize the chaos of life so you can focus your time and your money on spending it with your family. So click that subscribe button right now because you are not going to want to miss anything. Now feeding our family is one of the things that we can't get away from. We have to feed our family all the time. Having a filled kitchen with food so you guys can gather around, eat yummy dinners together at the table every night is the priority because that is how we're going to strengthen your family. Now, also finances. Before we started implementing this whole grocery shopping meal planning system that I share here on this channel, we used to spend over a thousand dollars a month. And now we only spend about $500 a month on food, which is saving us thousands of dollars a year, which helps us go on trips and buy things and pay cash for things like our van that we just bought about a year ago, our trips um, for just hubby and I, our trip to Hawaii. We do all sorts of family vacations. Our money where it counts, where um, we were wasting it and now we're a lot more intentional. So I'm telling you, don't turn this off. This system works and it's gonna help you save time and especially help you save a lot of money because every time you go back to that grocery store, you're gonna be adding more things to your cart, even if it's grocery pickup than you were planning on doing. I promise, it's gonna help you save money. Okay, so helping you stop forgetting things at the grocery store, we're gonna talk about setting a pantry staples list. So this is the list that you are going to look at every time you're going to the grocery store and making sure that you have everything that's on this list. So these are the things that you like to have on hand all the time. So maybe your family loves to have cereal. You need to have it every time. Or maybe you're a family like ours and we have to have Dino Buddies. And then there's the condiments and there's all the other things. So I'm gonna go through and make my grocery staples list. I'm gonna kind of update it. I've got it um, really well organized. So we have different categories. So I'm gonna kind of teach you as I'm walking through doing this for real for our family. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go through your kitchen section by section and look in the cupboards. Actually look in your refrigerator and your freezer and pay attention to the items that you want to keep on hand. Now you're gonna, this is going to, you're gonna update it occasionally, but this is what you're gonna refer back to every time you go to the grocery store. So then all you have to do is instead of every time you're going to the grocery store, looking in your fridge and your freezer, looking in your pantry, trying to remember things that you like to have on hand, just check out the list and you think, yes, we have this, no, yes, no, yes, no. All the things that are no, you add it to your master grocery list. See how easy this is gonna be? Still doing our kitchen remodel, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with our pantry. I'll kind of walk through it with you. So I have two sections. I have dry pantry, and then I also have snacks. So that's probably where I'm gonna be filling in right here as well. Okay, so this is where we are keeping our canned goods. Let's get this organized again. Here we go, all right, canned goods. I love having this canned chicken. It's great for mixing with those avocado packets and a super fast lunch. So I'm gonna add that onto dry pantry so I want. I don't typically keep a ton of canned food on hand. I try to use it. I haven't implemented that into our food storage yet. So, but what I do like to also have is the pancake mix. Pancake mix. I'm also gonna write down syrup because I know that we need syrup to go along with the pancakes. Then the other thing I'm looking at here is um, for quick lunches, we always like to do homemade ramen. So we use these ramen noodles and then this is kind of like my storage up here but we also always really like to have bone broth if i can find at the grocery store i'm gonna add ramen noodles and bone broth and oats and granola okay i've got a lot of things i want to write out all right let me give you a breakdown of what i got out of the pantry so what i'm thinking is i need the canned chicken pancake mix syrup ramen 
bone broth for homemade soups, granola, cereal, ketchup, mustard, ranch, and then rotini pasta because we put those into lunches. And then this is my baking cupboard. So for baking, I always want to make sure that I have on hand oats, honey, powdered sugar, brown sugar, regular sugar, flour, vanilla, and cocoa powder. So as I'm going throughout the month, if I think of something, oh man, I need to have that on hand, I'll just add it here. Now we're gonna go work on the fridge and freezer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through here, pay attention to things that I like to have on hand. So for example, we always like to make sure that we have tortillas. I'm gonna make sure that I have flour tortillas and corn tortillas on this list. So here on my list, in the refrigerated section, I'm gonna write flour tortillas, corn tortillas, shredded cheese, shredded mozzarella. Ooh, another thing I love to have on hand for quick lunches, and Kennedy's actually starting to love these, are these lemon pepper tuna creations. So this is one serving, it has 17 grams of protein, I think. Yes, 17 grams of protein. They actually have a really long shelf life. So this is still good till um, June, which is several months from now, so that's great. Anyways, we mix these with avocado packets, which we typically have down here, but we don't have that right now. So I'm gonna write down tuna and avocado packets. Now, another thing that a lot of people are gonna probably have similar things is I wanna make sure that I have all of our condiments. So things like strawberry jelly is something that we always like to have on hand. Soy sauce is another thing. We always like to have hot sauce on hand. Uh, make sure that we have mayo. There it is, our avocado mayo. I always make sure that we have um, this Olive Garden Italian seasoning or dressing. We use that on pastas a lot. Um, so I'm gonna add all of those things to my list as well. All right, you can see that our list is starting to fill up. All right, so update. I added things like mayo, milk, eggs, almond milk, OJ, feta, pickles, salsa. Those are things that I like to have on hand in our fridge. The other things I like to have on hand and basic produce that I'm gonna use in almost every single meal and I know that I use up every single week. Lettuce, bell peppers, onion, lemon, apples, berries, bananas, and broccoli. Those are kind of like our staples is what we're working on. Okay, now meats. Meats that I like to have on hand is pretty simple. I keep it to chicken and ground beef. Now let's work on the freezer. Our freezer is a disaster right now. Mav just got his tonsils out and we stocked it to the brim with popsicles because that's how he's getting his liquids in right now. It doesn't feel great to swallow liquids. Anyway, so he's got lots of popsicles. Okay, so we've got two freezers. This freezer and then one out in the garage. So we're gonna go check on that one as well. Ooh. See, I always love to have frozen strawberries. Popsicle break. Okay, um, so frozen strawberries. I also know that we always need to have dino nuggets. Anyone else's kids love dino nuggets? The oh, spinach. I'm gonna put it here because I freeze. I just buy, let me show you. I just buy the big giant bag of spinach from Costco and I freeze it. So this is like $3 and then we throw this into smoothies, so. I add this, it's just collagen, but it has 20 grams of protein, 18 grams of protein per serving. So I just do one serving in a full smoothie that's gonna go between three kids, but that helps the nutrients stick in their tummy a little bit longer, so I wanna make sure that I add collagen to my list. Oh, peanut butter. Don't forget the peanut butter. Let's go into the depths of what is our garage freezer. So I have lots of freezer meals in here right now because I did some bulk cooking recently, but I love to keep breakfast sausage. So these are two different types of breakfast sausage. So I'm gonna be sure to add that to my list. Um, the other thing I love to keep in here is this frozen rotisserie chicken breast. So when the kids are eating dino nuggets and I'm like, man, those are looking good. This is what I'll eat instead, way less fat a lot leaner. So these are some bulk meats that I had and ooh, ground turkey. So I'm gonna add those things to my list. So I wanna add ground turkey to my meat section. I'm also gonna put on um, that frozen rotisserie chicken into my frozen section. And then also the frozen section, I'm actually gonna put it in meat because I don't think I buy it frozen. I'm writing things down where I buy it so that way it's easy to transfer to my grocery list. Um, breakfast sausage. Okay, let me finish going through our garage freezer and then I'll do a final report with you guys. 
Okay, so a few things I wanted to add were frozen pizzas, um, frozen stir fry veggies. Those are also really great to have on hand for like leftover nights. Throw those in with some leftover meat, make a stir fry. Or those homemade ramen bowls are so good. I have a recipe coming out in our soon to be app that is gonna be delicious. Okay, frozen pizza, frozen stir fry veggies. Oh, I also wanted to add on bacon. We don't always have bacon on hand, but if there's room in the budget, I get it. All right, oh, other is I always wanna make sure, I like to have paper plate and plastic silverware on hand because um, when we have people over, that's typically what we use, plastic silverware. Okay, let's go do a recap. All right, I have a pretty full list here, but again, I'm keeping it like this so I can add to it as I start to think of other things as I go through life that I wanna add on here. So, let me show you. This this is kind of my final product. So now, next time I'm going to the grocery store, for me, it's Big Giant Monthly Grocery Hauls. Maybe you're doing weekly or bi-weekly grocery hauls. You just need to look through here and make a note of what you actually need and things that you already have. So then, when I'm making my master grocery list, this is actually what I'm taking with me. I do a new one of these every time I go grocery shopping. I just move over what we don't have over to here. This is gonna help you stop forgetting things all the time and minimize how many times you need to go to the grocery store, which is gonna minimize how much time you're spending or wasting. You're gonna be able to use that time better spent on doing things that you wish you had. Like, what would you do if you had an extra 30 minutes today? Let's talk about that down in the comments. What would you do? Seriously, what would you do if you had an extra 30 minutes today? I asked this question on Instagram the other day and a lot of people mentioned that they would take a nap. I gotta say, I would be right there with you. Or maybe you play games with your kids, maybe not be so stressed out out and have things going from one thing to the next help slow things down a little bit and it's gonna save you tons of money. Now, I wanted to tell you that to help you stay organized, I actually have this as a free printable for you. So we have that link down in the description. It's part of our um, meal planner cheat sheet bundle. So you get this grocery staples list. It comes with so many cool things. So not only does it have the grocery staples list that you're gonna wanna put together right now when you're done watching this video, but it also comes with like the master grocery list. It also has a substitution list, which is gonna help you save even more money. Using this in a synchronized system way it's gonna save you so much time and so much money okay so let me know what would you do if you had an extra 30 minutes put that down in the comments and we will chat so what did you think do you use something like this grocery staples list maybe you might call it like an inventory list something like that um, I would love to hear what you do that helps your family and make sure that you're going down to the comments see what everybody else is suggesting because that's how we work what works for my family might be need to be tweaked a little bit to work for your family so take Take what I'm sharing today and think about how you can customize it to make it work for your family to minimize the time that you're wasting and actually maximize the time that you're spending with your family. All right, I will talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to go click that link in the description and get your free printable. I'll talk to you soon, bye.